No critical infrastructure systems were damaged by the distributed denial of service event. That's what it is. Hi, my name is Mark Janal Jr. If you're new here, I do cyber-related videos. Lithuanian energy firm experiences DDoS attack by pro-Russian hackers. We're going to talk about this. We go in dark. So this is courtesy of Mahir Bagway at bankinfosecurity.com. So a state-controlled energy holding company in Lithuania experienced a cyber attack disrupting online services amid mounting geopolitical tensions caused by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. No critical infrastructure systems were damaged by the distributed denial of service event, otherwise known as DDoS attack, uh, Ignitus Group stated in a weekend social media post. Even as the attack has subsided, the Ignitus Group warned that threat actors continued to probe for an opening. Cloudflare is providing DDoS protection to the company. Lithuania has faced a spate of intensive DDoS attacks over the past few weeks from Russia supporting hacktivist groups, right? A top Ministry of National Defense official earlier this month tweeted that Russia has placed his country under intensive DDoS pressure, saying Lithuania will give a diplomatic response and dot 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 hold those responsible accountable. We experience attacks all the time. For, uh, for the last few weeks, we experienced DDoS attacks, but it did not affect our websites, an Ignitus spokeswoman told Information Security Media Group. On Saturday night around 3 a.m., the intensity of the attack was increased and we experienced malfunctions in our websites. Around midday, we resolved the problems and suppressed the attack. The Baltic country is a main supply chain uh, choke point for the Russian exclave of uh, Kaliningrad. <laughs> Last month, it banned the transit of materials sanctioned by the European Union, including coal, metals, and advanced technologies, leading to angry accusations from Russia that Kaliningrad is under siege. EU and Lithuanian officials say that passengers and non-sanctioned goods may continue to transit Lithuania and call the accusations part of larger pattern of Kremlin distribution. So here's some of the attribution to pro-Russia actors. The pro-Russian Killnet hacker group claimed responsibility for the attack on Ignitus on its Telegram channel. The network infrastructure of the Lithuanian company ESO, which is a subsidiary of Ignitus Group, has been blocked. 100% of the entire ecosystem affected, the group says in the post. The attack was a publicity stunt. Uh, Margaris A, I'm not even going to botch the last name, who was the vice minister at the Ministry of National Defense of the Republic of Lithuania, reportedly told local news radio station uh, Zinaidu, I'm not even going to say that, uh, reports Baltic online portal Delphi. Publicity is a very important part of these attacks. If we don't talk about them, the other side will lose motivation. When we talk about alleged victories, about alleged punishment of Lithuania, it's motivating the other side. Uh, Abukovic Ab said, sorry. <laughs> well, that's the news. I'm, I'm going to keep you posted. That's what it is. Please feel free to watch, like, and comment other videos on this channel. Subscribe now.